We need more rain and we need it now. We need some divine intervention. That's why I'm asking Utahns of all faiths to join me in a weekend of prayer, June 4th through the 6th. As Utah's drought emergency continues to get worse, communities are starting to crack down on water wasters. We had Wayne Goodsell. If you're not from Utah, then you don't understand the cultural traditions that I've come to learn the hard way ever since moving here. <coughs> Utah is an alt-right conservative state. There's questions about the 2020 election, though, because there's been a lot of progressive liberal movement that's been against the church and against the alt-right conservative government for the last several years prior to, like, uh, getting... Uh, gay marriage passed and uh, marijuana law passed and so why did they vote for Trump <laughs> and if you don't understand they used the old election voting machines that a little kid hacked in under two minutes if you remember that little news clip competition that was held yeah, that was Utah's machines that were hacked. And Utah, of course, says, oh, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> uh -huh. But anyway, Utah loves to victimize Utahns. It's the Utah government that's in charge. Usually they follow the orders of the church. And so they do things. And then the consequences happen, which are not so good. And then they punish and blame the people of Utah. For example, they refuse to do away with combustion engine. And so they keep making more and more streets for more and more vehicles when Utah is among the worst polluters in the world. And so when the inversion happens and the pollution is high they blame the people they punish people they fine people if you're driving all by yourself and you're not carpooling or if you're not taking mass transit and, and other stuff like this they punish the people of Utah when they the government government screws up. They cannot accept responsibility for their own actions. Well, they're at it again. <laughs> and yes, it has to do with the drought. I knew it was coming, and sure enough, here it is. The reason why we have a drought is because Utah did not plan and prepare. Building more water plants to store water, you know, this is a desert. <laughs> Were they thinking that it's just going to magically blossom as a rose? Do you know Mormon doctrine and scripture? <laughs> and we just had Governor Cox come out and say, hey, we need to have a prayer over the weekend for fast and testimony meeting on Sundays, which means Mormons know that prayer means actually fasting, for divine intervention. And it made the national news. And, uh, and so what happened? Yeah, I did the video, no divine intervention. <laughs> There's a thing called science. <laughs> you, can't <laughs> you can't replace science with some supernatural... When Mormons throw in a half-supernatural, half-physical-bodied being. It, 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 uh. And so, yeah, what's happening now, that no divine inspiration is coming, as the government of Utah has failed to prepare and, and design Utah to handle being a desert, which means you need more water, 
And instead of going out and buying water and bringing it in to Utah, yeah, they're now forcing Utahns to skip and go without water. And if you don't, yeah, they're going to fine you. Fox 13 News, Utah, just tonight. Utah cities threaten fines, shutoffs for water wash wasters during drought. They're going to shut off your water if you're using it. <laughs> because how do you know if you're wasting? Uh, you know? And you'd think, oh, but they're only going to target businesses, churches, government buildings that are using sprinklers. Well, this is an emergency. Governor Cox declared two state of emergencies, which means all businesses, all government, the church must all let the grass die in order to save water for we the people. Nope. <laughs> when the church I catch them with their sprinklers, I'm going to record it. It's not every day because people skip a day here. So I'll try to see if I can find the time when they do the sprinklers and see if they've shut it down at my stake center. That's where I film the lunar eclipse. So just down the block. Uh, I'll see if I can find it and I'll do the video. And report them to the government for being water wasters. The church should be shutting down. They shouldn't even be open because the church has the necessity of using water for the bathrooms and the drinking fountains during church. And so if they want to be responsible leaders in the community, they got to cancel church. They can't be in a position to spread a coronavirus as a super spreader event, as they were, <laughs> and for this drought. This is things that people die if you violate them. And it's just ugh, so frustrating that the government blames the people, not those in charge. So frustrating. But, yeah, that's the latest. Uh, punishing Utahns for what they themselves caused.